Okay, anyway. I have played a lot of Old One in my days. Probably more, probably more than anybody. Probably even more than Mischief. I mean, I don't know more than Mischief, because he he's made, like, literally every one of these on this list besides this one. The original. But I still know a thing or two. So I'll try to go in depth as much as I can about each fight. Starting with the original. This is the baseline. Every old one fight is built off this one. So it's hard, like, it doesn't really hold up as well these days. Because one thing I will say is one of my big, big, like, things I will take into consideration when ranking these is bullshit factor. What is the, like, what are the bullshit factors here? How many of them are there? How bad is it, you know? Old One's main bullshit factor, besides connection. Connection, we're gonna pretend it doesn't exist for the most part. Bullshit factor, yes. That is very important. We're gonna pretend connection doesn't exist. Say you're doing all of these single player, all right? Which makes this fight a lot better because one of Old One, the original Old One's biggest flaws are the main bullshit factor in this fight are the mobs that just rush you. There's all these goblins, orcs that just rush you and try to body block you, which if your host isn't all that bad, you can deal with them pretty easily. You, It's best to use a pet that'll deal with them quickly, like a melee pet or something. Like Mega Chicken or any melee pet is really good against this one, where it's really bad against any other one. Because you don't need to be doing all that much damage. One hit is usually gonna kill whatever you're hitting or whatever crystal you're hitting just a few hits um and it'll deal with those mobs that are trying to body block you the reason i'm ignoring off host is because if we're taking off host into consideration this goes f tier because you die instantly if you don't have something protecting you because the mobs because of the latency the mobs just block you and you die pretty much no matter what but we'll say single player for all of these um, and I'll put a B tier, just because it doesn't hold up as well these days, but it's still the baseline. It's still a really cool, well-designed fight. Just because it doesn't hold up as well today, it's still the baseline for every single other fight. And a lot of the cool mechanics in these other fights come directly from this. So that's why I'm going to put it pretty high. Um, both sadistic old ones I didn't play. This sadistic old one is most similar to the original old one from what i'm told it just has different mobs and this sadistic old one is the baseline for oh wow really yeah yeah this is this was one of the mischief made this one years and years ago probably like 2013 2012 if i had to guess and sadistic old one is the beta version of great old one was it sadistic old one the invisible one no We'll get to the invisible one, don't worry. This is the beta Great Old One. So it's very similar to Great Old One. It has capped HP. I don't know the status on the abilities. I didn't play this one. I wasn't around when the beta was out and there's no way to play it now because the beta is long gone. But you have the next best thing, Great Old One. Great Old One is S tier, easily, easily S tier. The, the great part about Great Old One is the balance between difficulty and, uh, like, s the stat check factor of it. Like, how, like, do you need, re do you need really high stats to do this fight? No, you don't. You need no stats to do this fight. Barely any bullshit? Okay, well, the bullshit factor is something that... I could potentially put it in A tier 4, but I won't because you can play around it entirely. Head stagger, that's one of them. So the main bullshit with Great Old One is the speed makes it so you clip into him way more often if you have bad positioning. Like, 
He jumps so often on feet that you can clip into his hands and lose your position super easily if you're jumping in the wrong spot at the wrong time. Um, there is the green laser bug. That exists in this old one fight, but it's not as much of a factor because you kill the chest instantly anyway. So, because you don't kill the chest instantly on this fight, usually, especially if you're lower stats, um, it's much more of a factor. Because your first, your first green laser is going to be all the way to the side, so you're totally safe, which is kind of a bad thing. Like, it rewards speed in a really buggy way. I don't like it. And... You could say green laser being able to instantly kill you if you're standing in front of it is bad, but I don't I don't think so really. Because that's just positioning. Positioning is the most important part of this fight. And that's the great part. If you have good positioning, you can take literally zero damage. And that's why you can do it with no stats. Like, I completed this fight on a level one character, but there are people that still struggle really hard for a long time, like for hours and hours and hours, on a level 100 fully decked out character. Because that's how good the balance is. It's crazy hard, but if you're good enough, you can do it with nothing. So this fight is perfectly balanced. And yeah, back to the bullshit buggy parts. The, uh, what did you call it? Head stagger. Um, that exists in this fight again. But it's not as much of a factor because you instantly kill the head in this fight. And that... I should have mentioned that. That's another reason this fight is a lot lower. Going back to old one. The head phase, even if you're like really low stats doing it for your first time, you should be able to instantly kill the head. Like to the point where he's only going to get one or two attacks off. You don't need to learn the head at all. And that's a third of the fight. That's just thrown out the window because of the low HP. Great Old One fixes that. Um, the head has like 75% damage resistance. So you're forced to be on the head dealing with those attacks for a decent amount of time. You need to know what you're doing against this head. Um, so it brings that third of the fight back into the picture, which is amazing. There's so much depth, so much depth in this fight because of the increased speed, because of the increased HP on head, it's easily S tier. And the next one is Triggered Old One. So Triggered Old One is the Nightmare True Boss Rush Old One with the demon. Oh, you know what? I should mention, Great Old One does have some unique mechanics that it introduced. The Harbingers spawning from mages, really cool. But it also disables abilities, which is something that's going to be a really common theme with the rest of these. Um, except for this one. It does disable abilities, which I don't love, but when it disables your ability too on the third phase, it gives you a 50% damage up as well to kind of compensate for that, which does give a heroes like Jester that use the cat a uh, big advantage over like Monk, but Monk is still the best. The best, the easiest to use for this fight regardless. So I think it's, I think it balances out. That 50% damage up just makes it take a little longer, but not so long that it's painful. Like this fight. Triggered Old One is not, not a very good fight. I don't think this fight is good. I'm probably gonna put it in D tier, maybe C tier. Just because it has the same abilities disabled on the same phases. So when you go into phase two, your ability one gets disabled. When you go into phase three, your ability two gets disabled. But the difference is there's no 50% damage up. Um, like in Great Old One. So your third phase is going to take an ungodly amount of time, especially because of the demon lord it spawns. The demon lord is a really cool idea on paper, but when you combine that with losing your ability too and not getting any damage to compensate for that, it just makes it take so long that you're pro like you mess up one time on feet if you're fighting the demon, you have to be towards the edge of the stage fighting the demon. If you mess up one time and get hit, 
you're done and you have to redo the entire fight and go back to it just because you lost your ability and there's no damage to compensate like i don't think i don't like this fight very much just because third phase is so stupid um other than that it's pretty fine it's very similar to great old one like, the mages spawn harbingers twice as quickly i think it has the same mana regeneration all the same hp values i want to say put every fight f tier because you need to play zoomed out Eh, not necessarily you don't need to play i mean it's easier to play zoomed out but you don't need to i'll come back to this one i might put it up to the c tier but for now i'll put it in d tier and now ascension great old one i'm putting this one f tier this is the worst old one easily and i'll tell you why so going back to that bullshit factor this was mischief <laughs> i hate i hate putting this one in f tier but this really is the worst old one which is understandable because what mischief did with this fight is he experimented with a lot of new ideas like a lot of little gimmicky things he wanted to try out in this fight and it just it really didn't work out honestly um i can't even remember if you keep your abilities the whole time i think you do yeah i think you do keep your abilities so i don't think there's any abilities being disabled here but it's so gimmicky that it should it just end up not being very fun so the gist of this fight is it's great old one as the same great old one speed um actually all of this 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 and this all have the same speed which is very important to talk about the same speed and the same hits hitbox sizes um so it's still on the medium side of speed but it loses what makes great old one really good which is the fact that you can do it at really low stats triggered old one you kind of can the demon lord makes it really hard and losing the 50 percent damage up but you can still do it with really low stats if you wanted it's possible this one it's not there is zero way to do this with incredibly low stats like if you're missing resistances there's no way you're gonna win because there's unavoidable damage that's kind of the name of the game for this fight so much unavoidable damage it's ridiculous because there's harbs that spawn that you cannot kill every head phase there's two harbs on the sides that you you can kill those ones but they're going to damage you as soon as they spawn unless you kill them immediately um and it forces you to play in the center i hate fights that force you to play a certain position when there's so many cool different positions that are available to play that's another reason great old one is so good there are so many positions that you can take advantage of in so many different situations to survive even with no stats to take zero damage that doesn't exist on this fight because of the harbingers that spawn you're f you're just forced to play in the tiny little area and if you move out of that you're going to die because the harbingers do so much damage um so that's the first thing i don't like are the harbingers second phase is mostly fine second phase at the end of feet before you progress to the chest level a demon lord spawns and you have to fight him while he has free movement the only other demon lord that spawns during an old one fight is on true grid old one he doesn't have free movement because you fight him while old one is still attacking you and if he did a free movement you could just instantly kill him with old one's hitboxes but because old one stops attacking you when this one spawns he has free movement which is actually really cool it makes it's pretty like cinematic you know like old one is just watching you while you're fighting this demon lord it's pretty cool that's probably the coolest part of the fight i won't lie to you um then you go up to head again there's the same harbingers and then once you get to third phase you have to do a sort of bullet hell section where there's is it six or eight archers that spawn on the sides i can't remember how many i think it's six that shoot you 
and if you get hit two times, you die. It's like a cool little bullet hell phase where you can't jump and you just have to survive for 30 seconds. It's a cool idea, uh, but it in combination with all the other gimmicks in this fight, I just, I think it's out of place. It's a really cool idea. It wasn't even implemented badly. It's just that in combination with everything else, I, I don't like it very much. If it were the only gimmick, people would probably still hate it because there's a way to instantly die at the third phase very easily. Like, you get hit twice, you're dead, and you can't jump. Um, but if you're good enough, you can avoid all damage. It's totally fine. And then once you go to the chest level of third phase, um, two unkillable harbingers spawn on the sides, which, again, limits your movement to be like in the dead center, mostly in the back. So you can like see everything coming at you, you know? I can't remember if there are archers at that point. It's been a while since I've done this fight. Um, yeah, those harbingers cannot be killed. There's no way to deal with them. I'm pretty sure they can't be knocked back by pitchfork or anything as well. So again, just unavoidable damage. If you go near them, uh, it, just forces you to play in the same position. Really not very fun. And then third, the head. I can't remember if more harbingers spawn. I'm not even sure. I don't. I don't do this fight very much. It does have some gear, which is worth considering. Most of these don't have gear. Uh, there's only three of these on the list that have gear. There's ascension grid old one, old one, and ultimate old one. I didn't include ascension old one just because it's so similar to Great Old One. It would go in S tier right next to Great Old One, if not above it, because it removes some of the gimmicks that Great Old One has. Um, so it does have gear, very bad gear. Center force play, it's not very fun, yeah. It does have gear that is very bad. You would never want to run this map and to unlock this map, you have to do some really hard maps on Ascension. You have to do like Temple Polybius, you need to do True Boss Rush on Nightmare. You need to do all the Crystalline Resurgences, you need to do Crystalline Dimension. It's just, the requirements are horrible. The, the loot you get from it is god awful. There's no like special drop from it. Like Great Old One has the ultimate Crystalline Defender. A, a really cool like special drop that you only get once, that is very useful. Which makes doing this fight kind of worth it. Especially since you unlock True Boss Rush after you do this as well. But this, there's just no reason to do this ever. Maybe I would put it up to like D tier, just saying it's worth it to do it once if they added some kind of special drop to it. But there's nothing, it's F tier. This is the worst one. It's horrible. Um, I'm not gonna say this fight I'm not going to say it were better if this fight didn't exist, because it did mess with some unique ideas. But, yeah, there's... You should never do this fight. <laughs> it's not... It's not very fun. Now, Ultimate Old One. Dude, this one is so hard to rank, because... There's a lot wrong with it, but that's only because it's just kind of a fun little workshop um, project, you know? I really don't know where I want to put this. So the gist of Ultimate Old One is he is the precursor to the actual Ultimate Old One that was put in Redux on, Redux on uh, Ascension True Boss Rush. This is like the baseline for that fight. It has increased speed, much faster shockwave hitboxes. Like you have to jump immediately if you want to get over those hitboxes and they travel a lot further because of that as well. So if you want to be playing on the side, you need to time your jump way better than you would against a great any of the great old ones because those hitboxes from the opposite hand or foot, well, the op from the opposite hand I should say, aren't gonna even gonna, they're not even gonna reach you on chest. So you you only have to do, deal with the one hitbox. I guess ultimate old one, either of them, you have to deal with both hand hitboxes at all times, no matter what, no matter where you are, because it's gonna reach you at some point, which makes your jumps way more precise. This fight can't really be done with low stats, which is a big issue for me. 
Like, I really like old one fights that can be done with really low stats. It gives them a lot of replayability for me. A lot of incentives get a lot better. It's just... Another thing with this fight is... It was made for the live game. And the live game has some really bad old one bugs that this addressed. So, there's the Spear of the New Kingdom bug. I'm sure everybody knows about it at this point. That uh, makes the Spear of the New Kingdom do, like, a ridiculous amount of damage against any old one hitbox. And what Mischief did for this workshop version is he disabled poison damage entirely. Which is fine, considering that's, that was the easiest way to fix it. But limiting your options kind of sucks in the context of Redux today. Like, if you wanted to do this fight today, it's kind of lame compared to another any of the other ones. Just because of the limitations. Um... I don't know. I'm going to put this one in C tier. Just because it's a lesser version of Ultimate Old One. And there's really no reason to play it. It's just a, work, a fun little workshop thing. It's really cool for what it is. But yeah, there's really no reason to play this. Of course, because it's on the workshop. You're not going to get much knowledge out of it. Like, there's no reason to practice this anymore because of Ultimate Old One. I'm going to put old, like, we have one in each tier, pretty much. Ultimate Old One is A tier. I'm not going to say it's as good as Great Old One, but it is a hell of a lot better than True Great Old One. This is the other True Boss Rush Old One on Nightmare. Ultimate Old One goes on Ascension True Boss Rush. This is a really good fight. This took most of the issues between Ultimate Old One and True Great Old One and kind of fixed them. So there's no abilities being disabled, like on Ultimate Old One. There's no demons spawning, which honestly, the demon spawning can be a good idea, but overall, I I don't like it very much from True Good Old One. It removes that. There's no more demons. And it gradually ramps up the difficulty with, with each phase, which is not something you see very often in any of, in any of these. Any of these, if they have unique mechanics, they're usually just in that one phase and then you don't have to worry about them again like it doesn't ramp up it's just there and then it's gone you know oh yeah another thing to mention i totally forgot about this ultimate old one's third phase is totally invisible which i it can be kind of funny that's the biggest reason i put it in c tier i totally forgot to mention that it's pretty funny seeing a totally invisible old one like just because of that i'm putting it in c tier instead of d tier it's pretty funny <laughs> just seeing a completely invisible old one instantly kill you um, Ultimate Old One does not go invisible in this third phase. What happens is you go into first phase, there's no enemies, you're just dealing with the Old One with his increased speed, way bigger hitboxes, way faster hitboxes, the shockwaves. Um, increased damage on some attacks that were pretty weak before, like the Red Laser on Head did no damage on Great Old One and no damage on Old One. It does a lot of damage on Ultimate Old One. So you can't just jump and despawn the fire and not worry about it. Like, just stand there in the laser, take like 20 a tick, you know? You have to avoid this or you're going to die. It deals so much damage, which is really good. Um, then you go into second phase and an invisible wyvern starts shooting fireballs at you. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> The fireballs do quite a bit of damage. Not enough to kill you by the, on their own, but you have to avoid them so you don't get jump cancelled or anything like that. Um, and still no abilities disabled. You go into third phase, there's going to be archers that spawn on feet. I think six of them. And there's still the wyvern. No abilities disabled. And when you go up to chest, only two of the archers are on the platform that come with you. So it stays more difficult. Although, one bad thing about this fight is you can knock the archers off that would move up with you on chest with pretty much the best old one weapon right now, which is the pitchfork. Uh, it knocks off those archers super easily, which is kind of not cool because it negates part of the difficulty. Those arrows do a lot of damage. But still, this fight is a lot of fun to grind. 
One of the big problems with this fight is it's cool to do it once. Like, if this were a one-time fight, you just do it once and then never again. Um, it'd be a lot better, but since it's on True Boss Rush, I had to do it a lot, so I hate this fight. <laughs> like, if, if it's my personal opinion on this fight, I would put it in F tier because I did it so much. It caused so much pain, but I'll resist the temptation to put it in D. This fight is a lot of fun to grind. It's, it doesn't feel frustrating to do it again and again. It's very quick. It's still really difficult, way more difficult than this fight. It's just less of a pain. So that, I could put this in S tier, honestly, but I'll put it in A. Um, that's pretty much it. I don't think there's any other old ones that I missed besides the Crystalline Dimension Ascension old one. So yeah. I'll snip this, and, uh, boom. That is my definitive list. I could move this one down to D. I don't know. It's kind of interchangeable. But I'm pretty happy with this.